David. David, what David, I wanna... David that, that's, listen, I, David, uh, that's, that's fine, David, I know. This is a very funny moment for you. I'm sure you didn't sleep last night as you prepared to sort of try and get the morning anchor on Newsmax. I'd be happy to talk with you about whatever you want to talk about. Obviously, it's not the topic that we have set up for right now. So if you'd like to talk about Saturday Night Live, I will do that with you. But obviously, I'm not going to talk about anything else right now. So you decide right now, in this moment on live television. Go ahead. Oh. I mean, it was one of those moments, too. Uh, you know, which is a very, these happen on live television sometimes. Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Somebody said, why would you refer to yourself as the morning anchor? Because it would have been more weird if I said, because you came on and you tried to get the Rob Finnerty. You know, <laughs> in the third person, that would have been kind of weird, too. Uh, in today's edition of Woke Up America, if you haven't guessed, uh, we're going to be talking about my, my dear, sweet little David Litt. Uh, he seemed like such a, such a sweet man before the interview yesterday, but let's face it, sometimes Litt does happen. And it happened yesterday to the Rob Finnerty. Uh, you might have seen it live or, or, or watched it yesterday. It was, uh, it was on the Internet, a really dynamic interview we had here on the program. Uh, we invited on the great David Litt uh, on the show. Uh, he's a young guy, wrote a book about comedy, but I'll be honest, I didn't really think he was that funny. And you might say, why would we invite somebody on who has uh, left-leaning views, worked for President Obama? Newsmax is not just conservative, all right? We're going to invite people from all different backgrounds on. We try to be fair. We try to be objective and lit. Uh, he's got quite an interesting background, so I thought, great, we'll have him on the show. Uh, he was a former speechwriter for President Obama. The topic yesterday, topic with quotes around it, was Elon Musk's appearance on Saturday Night Live. And just so you know how the business works, by the way, back on camera, uh, we have booking producers here, and they literally never stop working. They're reaching out to guests all the time to try and get people to talk about certain things. Sometimes those would-be guests say yes, sometimes they say no. And look, if a guest goes rogue during an interview and brings up another topic, I'm happy to play ball. In fact, I was actually happy to play ball yesterday. Uh, I knew this guy's political views before he came on the show. I knew his experience working in comedy, so it made some sense for the topic, although I'm I'm not convinced he's that funny. He wasn't that funny yesterday. Um, even though I, it took me a moment to sort of figure out what he was trying to do there, and that's, that's have a moment, get me. Uh, he was trying to call out Newsmax for the left's now famous big lie, and I just tried to be gracious and calm, which is not always easy if you're sitting in the chair, but that's the job. I signed up to do that. So this guy came out, and he threw a Yale haymaker at me. The only problem was, I noticed this with David Litt, there was absolutely no counterpunch. Now, I'm not going to sit there and relitigate the November election with David Litt on live TV on a Monday. Right? Quite frankly, he's got no idea what he's talking about. He wrote speeches for President Obama. That is a very big job. He was only 24 years old when he got that job. But guess what? That job ended a whole long time ago. So I've got no issue at all with gotcha journalism. But when a gotcha journalist comes on the program, you better have something more than that weak tea you brought yesterday. David, Newsmax was lying to viewers. That's what you were trying to convince people that we were doing in the fall. Listen, if you ever want to come back on, you can contact our booker. I can't guarantee anything, but then again, I think yesterday was probably, and this is my thought after a day to think about it, I think yesterday the great David Litt was actually trying out for a job on maybe one of the other networks. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him on MSNBC or CNN at some point soon. So David, good luck to you. And again, thank you for coming on the show. And that's it. And now Rachel. What was it like sitting next <laughs> to me yesterday while up? that was all playing out? Rob, you know me. I'm not one for confrontation. It's right. something we've discussed. You and I are very different, and that's what I We're appreciate about you. No, you, you handle confrontation with ease and with grace, and I well, sweat. That, that's nice of you to say. I will say, <laughs> by the way, just now I'm, I'm peeling back another layer just so you know about television. Yesterday I was talking to my executive producer before mm -hmm. the show, and we almost thought that Rachel might be a better fit for the David Litt interview, okay? It's, it's hard to give now, a, you a would have handled pregnant it, lady a hard time. That's where I was going. You would have handled it with grace and, and, and just because that's the type of person you are. But Rachel, you. you are seven and a half months pregnant mm -hmm. and that would have been a really bad look for Litt had he tried to do that with you. So I am glad that, that young David did that with me. Nobody puts baby in a corner. No, you know, not on my watch. <laughs> you just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.